Good morning. It's Randy with Essential Maintenance Services. It's uh, Tuesday, March 12th. And I want to go over my 2024 rig. Uh, it's the same rig I had last year, but I've made some pretty massive improvements to it. And I'm going to go over it for you. Uh, this is a Hot C 1280 SSG. It's a five gallon a minute. It puts out about seven and a half. Uh, it's a 630 Honda GX 630. And you can see there is an eight gallon a minute pump. It's pulley for five gallons a minute, but it actually puts out seven and a half. Um, I'm going to go over to the proportioning system. Uh, it's a Midwest proportioner. It's a V4. It's been modified. Um, these are prototypes. Uh, this fills your chemical, meters your chemical, soft washing your downstream, and this is a fluid transfer switch. Um, you can use that to exfil. You can use that to um, mix tanks, uh, batch mix, fill buckets, run neutralizers through your pumps. Uh, it's endless. Um, this runs your downstream and this runs your soft wash pumps. I have a seven gallon a minute fat boy and beside that I have a Midwest uh, remote rinse module that has also been modified and I'll go over that in a little bit. I run a 65 gallon leg tank. Um, I have another 5.3 Remco. Uh, it is remote controlled. Um, this is a fluid transfer system. Um, you can onboard your chemical with it, onboard your soaps. Uh, you can empty your, your tanks or exfil your tanks. Um, this is also how that you batch mix or cycle your tanks and I'll go over some of that later. Um, this drop stick hut line right here, it is where you plug on to and fill your tanks, exfil your tanks, fill buckets, rinse your system out. Uh, you can even spray from that hose. Uh, and I'll go over that a little bit uh, further in detail. Uh, this is a remote soap module and it also does your chemical transfers or your exfilling. Um, the only thing you use when you're operating this system is either turn this one on or this one on depending on what you're needing. Uh, the other two are half inch lines. You notice these are quarters for your soaps, but these are half inch lines and that, that assists you in doing full flow um, when you're doing your fluid transfers. Uh, all of this is automatic. Uh, this is for your fluid transfer line and this is your soap line and whichever one you activate on the proportioner activates it here uh, everything that's run off of these modules is activated down there with the exception of this which has a transfer switch um, this here is a manual control uh, it runs your soaps for your downstream uh, and then this is a flush valve uh, this flush valve here will flush out this entire system. Uh, you can disconnect this, and I have a fitting I keep down here. These are fittings that I keep that are double-ended um, males, double-ended female adapters. Uh, this cams off what I have up here that may need cammed at some point in time. And then this has an air fitting on it. And you can plug that on in place of this and hook it to your compressor and winterize this entire system uh, from this one point. Uh, and then you winterize the entire system for the other side at another point, and I'll go over that in a minute. Um, this here is how well, my water inlet. Uh, water just comes in. You catch uh, what the pressure is on it. It's filtered. This can be diverted over. It goes over to the buffer tank on the pressure washer. This is an eye wash station. And you can just has a little nipple on the bottom of that. And this here is a uh, line that you can take your soft wash hose and cam onto that and have water coming straight from the spigot. Uh, and then this fills your water tank. Um, 
have a 24 inch ground force uh, I've got some mounts that I made they're uh, one inch aluminum uh, flat stock it's just cold rolled by hand I used my trailer to do it and then mount it to the sides of it uh, this one here is temporary uh, it will go down and be mounted just like this one is here um, this is temporary because I did not want to remove that tank and when I take the tanks out then I'll update that uh, I have four hose reels I have two 18 inch uh, 200 feet of Ultramax waterline three quarter inch on top and about 190 feet of Flexzilla on the bottom it's 5 8 inch um, my chem line comes in and plugs onto the back right here and then when you uncam this and roll it off it's got a cam lock on the other side you plug back onto it and that's where your chemical source comes out of um, have two 12 inch hose reels on this side uh, both right now they both have single wire the bottom's supposed to have uh, a two wire on it for hot water and that's all the bottom one is used for is surface cleaning or hot water applications. Uh, the top reel is used strictly for downstreaming or uh, just anything that's in general that I've got it rolled off for. Uh, this is a, uh, I guess you would call it a proportioning unit since it does have one metering valve in it. It's actually just an activation. Uh, when you're running your downstream, this is the only thing that you have to turn on. That's it all your soaps everything comes off the main proportioner at the front uh, when you're in manual mode if somebody's using the soft wash system uh, this is your manual soap your manual sh and then this turns on the proportioner or it activates a drop stick that's hooked to here uh, the good thing about having this drop sticks drop stick set up this way is that it never mixes in the block so if you're running bleach uh, washing a house whatever and you need to do some uh rust removal or whatever uh, you can switch this over and it just goes through the three-way it never goes into the block um, now my downstream setup is pretty basic um, she's got a loop on it uh, it's all stainless it has a sud sucker in it uh, right now I'm running 2.3 injector in it and the hose reels are linked together and can be switched right here between the two this is where I keep all of my cleaning supplies uh, any accessories anything like that I need um, this is the drop stick that's hooked to the downstream I forgot to cover that and then this has everything else your J rods my wands uh, turbo nozzles um, a drop stick um, just pretty much anything you need here I also have some uh, extra fittings and stuff I keep down here um, bung wrench and then this is a neutralizer bucket this bucket is an interchangeable cube um, this has a drop stick that screws down in it and then I have multiple cubes that I keep degreaser I keep neutralizer I keep acids you know, just whatever and then it is connected to this three-way so this is a enclosed more or less an enclosed drop stick um, i keep neutralizer hooked to it because i can flush all of the other side of the system pumps and everything with neutralizer from the other side and i could run a line under the tank and hook to it over there however it's too long a pull uh, it, it, it's not going to pull it. it I'm, I'm right about 10 and a half feet right now and it's just not it's not going to pull that um, I do have them color coded. Uh, this is your chem side, and then this is your neutralizer side. Um, it comes over to another three way. So this is basically a dual flush system. Uh, this flushes with water, this flushes with neutralizer, or whatever else that you need to use it for. Um, I have my tank vented with a uh, check valve, and then you have your, ma your main chem source coming to your proportioner and then your manual chem source going to your downstream in the back and then this is for your transfer system uh, or for filling this tank um, my remote rinse module has a three-way on it 
that allows you to switch between running and normal operation. And you pull this up and it activates this and gives you a remote chemical source right here. Um, I have an X-Jet modification that hooks to this and I'll go over that in a later video. Um, have a 22 foot little giant ladder. Uh, I have two DeWalt pump up sprayers. Um, I keep degreaser and gutter bright in these. Um, have twin deep cycle batteries. Um, they have their own charger. Also have its own power station or plug-in ports. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Got tied up. And it has its own uh, extension plug-ins. I had a brain fart there. And then here is the info on the actual Hotsy. And as you can see. As I, if I can see, it's 5.1 gallons a minute. Uh, but like I said, it puts out 7.5, 6.5 with the injector on. Uh, and it's got a max temp of 225. Uh, it does have its own battery for the pressure washer. Uh, it has its own generator. And I keep that plugged in here. And it keeps my batteries charged. Um, haven't had a need to open a lid on one of these tanks or to charge the batteries on this system since I put it together this way. Um, I've had the lid off of that tank to service it, uh, but other than that, there's no need to open anything. Um, I want to cover a couple of things on this system up here. Um, this is a quad functioning uh, proportioner. It does four different things. Uh, that is a dual functioning rinse module. It does multiple things. It has three different GPM outputs in the pumping system, 5.3, seven, and then a combination of the two, and the 5.3 is on the demand, which means I can be running the seven, not have enough oomph, hit the remote, and then I've got a 5.3 that kicks in on the fly. Um, the system design that I have, this will eventually, um, this isn't finished. I have two more items to go on here, um, and then the V4 will be maxed out. Um, I have a new design that has six different GPM outputs off of the soft wash system and it'll put out three different GPM outputs off of the pressure washing system. Um, and it's all automatic. Uh, there is no switching in it at all and there's no switching in this other than your transfer systems or to actually turn something on. So basically anything that you're using here, the only thing that you have to do is turn it on there. That's it. Um, try to be as thorough as I could with this, guys. I'm sure I'm missing a bunch of stuff. Um, one other thing I do want to go over, another advantage of having this system set up this way is troubleshooting. Um, I can set pressure switches. I can do checks for leaks. Everything that I need to do, and I don't even have to hook this system up to anything or spray a drop of water off of it. I simply turn on the transfer switch there and the transfer switch there and then I can cycle whatever I need to and I can assess what's going on or set a pressure switch or whatever I need to do without actually ever spraying anything. Uh, anyway guys, hope you guys have a great season. Uh, really enjoy building these things. Uh, anybody got any questions man, y'all just drop them down in the comments below. Y'all have a great day.